We're back and here we have at the studio world current champion Juven Jun who uh, won a very beautiful game and um, we're going to analyze this game. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start to um, look more deeply in your game. Okay, so today I play white against uh, Sebak and uh, okay, she, she, she plays Slav, so for me I made some preparation mm -hmm. and I think Queen C2, everything's normal here and uh, maybe Queen B3 is something interesting. Okay. Was it a home preparation for you? Uh, yes, it's a sort of preparation, but okay, I mean... I didn't uh, prepare a lot. I mean, this is just some line. I think it's mm. interesting. And and after knight c4, I think maybe she can play queen b3 here. And take take something like maybe knight d5 or you know, and trying to like this square and probably make the rook. And I mean, this end game looks like uh, more solid for black. Mm -hmm. Rather, uh, what uh, what was on the board? Yeah, or even shall be for. I mean, okay, there's no danger for white, but still, I mean, it's a very long game. And after queen a six, I think bishop four is the move. And uh, I mean, her game is already a little bit uh, not so so good. I mean. She's too passive, and yes. uh, the pieces has to find the uh, space. This is the uh, the feeling I had when I was uh, watching this game. Yes, and you you have more like pleasant position here. Yeah, I think uh, okay now White has some slightly advantage, and she played normal here knight b6 and bishop d6. I think this is a good move, and also, I mean. Okay, it uh, looks like, uh, okay, like uh, not usual for white, but uh, actually it's good. And take, take knight d6. Maybe she can try something like rook f8. And if take, take, for me, I'm still wondering if I can play this move. You cannot bishop queen e2 because take take and uh, mm. rook f1 but uh, with this position rook on e7 is more maybe you can protect this b7 pawn so uh, compared to the game maybe something better but also rook f7 rook f8 take take maybe something like knight f5 okay just uh, bishop e4 and uh, maybe slightly for white but uh, still i mean it's solid mm -hmm. And here, I think uh, after this, what this is just uh, having some mm, like big advantage here. And if go this move, maybe take take bishop c6. This is what I'm thinking. And take take just take. I mean, this structure should be better for white because uh, two pawn with uh, rook and with two knights. I think white is just better. Mm -hmm. So she played rook eight d8, and uh, I go with queen b4, <laughs> and this is the move, because uh, other otherwise I no, I if I go back she can take my pawn. So this is the move, and take take take. Yeah, after bishop d5, um, uh, she is struggling with this uh, b7 pawn. Yes, yes, I think uh, it's a huge uh, huge problem here. Uh, and um, uh, after bishop d5, uh, we were thinking about to take with c pawn. Uh, what is uh, uh, take c pawn? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Is uh, I'm also thinking, but uh, I think maybe I will just go something like oh, I'm maybe rook f c a c one. Something like this. If take uh, knight c7, knight b7, and rook b8, maybe rook c7. I mean, it looks just better for white, but mm -hmm. still, some maybe some pressure in the king side from for white. So, if I go with this, maybe she can 
have something like um, maybe ninety seven. I'm not sure, but with this, it looks like better for white and, and right. maybe both choices. So this position is very, uh, I mean, pleasant for white to play because this B seven hole and um, okay more spaces. <laughs> so she played this, and for me, I think it's. Okay, logical to play A4, otherwise, uh, okay, I, I was thinking about F4, like, mm -hmm. if this, this is crazy, but I don't know how about this position. I mean, if take, take, and something in, queen, in king side, but it's not so necessary, and even yeah. F5 and rook F6, so I decided to play A4, it's simple, and play. Yeah, and it's so very fast. Next mm -hmm. move is a five and a knight is hanging. Here mm -hmm. we thought, uh, well, Ta I thought it, it's a four a five. To be honest, Ta said, yeah. and uh, it's maybe rookie one better to than to to play a four a five. But what we see in your game, you mainly pressure on the eight rank uh, mm -hmm. problem. Yes, eight rank. I mean, uh, for me, I I think this is just. A little bit passive. Maybe she can try this move and uh, with rook f6. Yes. Just that's what we miss. Mm -hmm. So a4 for me, I, I don't really scare about taking this because uh, I I think rook f1 if go this take take and uh, this end game should be just simply better for white. Exactly. Mm. With rook b8, maybe a6 or rook e7. I mean this weakness. And this shop is not uh, so in a good position. So after this, I think also white black can try this move. Like if go this, this uh, looks like oh no no, no 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 not this move, but something like this. I mean this queen is not trapped, but <laughs> it looks like it's trapped. Yeah, but yeah, maybe but maybe yet. she doesn't play because uh, if. It was this, and uh, I just went in a temple, so she she think maybe Queen H5 is uh, more of a move she's willing to play. So uh, I think right here, Knight B7 is a good move. I am try to <laughs> make uh, you know yes. this, this <laughs> Queen F8. It's beautiful. Yeah, I tried, but okay. Of course, uh, <laughs> she saw it. It's not uh, very difficult. <laughs> so this is what I'm trying. Very beautiful. Uh, combination here we have. Yeah, and after knight c4, knight d7, I think her final chance is to play c5 here. If go this, take Bec because uh, if here she cannot take queen f queen queen mm -hmm. f8, so take take rook b7. I mean, it l okay, white winning a pawn and uh, you know pieces, but suddenly the king is difficult. Like if rook a3 and bishop b4. You cannot take because queen d1, I think it's mate. So it's still unclear for me. I mean, maybe I can try some move here. Some move like uh, take, take, and uh, maybe just go go back. And if uh, but still, I mean, this position is more or less. Uh, Complicated for me. I mean, take, take. I I don't know how about this. I mean, but she should try for it. Yeah. I mean, this is her chances. And if go this and the uh, rook f8, I think uh, okay. Still, white is better, but uh, I mean, it's just the pawn. So some maybe some pressure. Okay. And after this. Knight B8, I think it's just finish. I mean, with after this, yeah, it's again, this finished. problem of the eight rank yeah. is uh, visible with Knight D6 yeah. move. And uh, mm, the other game was uh, very simple to to mm, to play. The rest of the game in the mm -hmm. end game, um, yeah, you have a simply a winning yeah. position, yes. right? It's uh, just the uh, uh, white point is very fast, so. Uh, after uh, uh, the remaining movies, mm -hmm. no, it's <coughs> not nothing. Yeah, no, it's just winning for white. I think yeah. it's just winning because uh, A7s cannot stop.
Very beautiful game with these Thank tactical yes. uh, motifs, and uh, yeah, we we got the result you won mm -hmm. here with it. Uh, tell us a little bit about yesterday's game. Yesterday, ah, yesterday, I play against uh, Stefano. I mean, uh, you want me to uh, just uh, simply just the, uh, uh, um, yeah, because the position was a different color of bishop. Ah, yes, yes. You tried. You tried to win. You tried yeah, I to try mate. Yeah, I tried. For for me, it's uh, okay. I I, I realize uh, maybe it's a drawish game, but for for black, it's no risky to play. And uh, I try to make her some pressure. And also, mm -hmm. okay, she's she doesn't has a lot of time, so I try. But maybe okay, that end game need a lot of uh, technique. So mm. well, I mean. Okay. It's did you did you so analyze or you will analyze it? I I didn't analyze. I just uh, think uh, maybe I watch uh, some only like like a few moves and uh, mm -hmm. okay. It's it's not easy. I mean I I technically I don't know if it's winning, but I think black has some some chance. That's mm -hmm. uh, the, that in the game about. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, this is the first uh, step uh, of mm. four Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. You have to play uh, um, three Grand Prix in yes. general. Which yeah. are the other uh, two I think Grand Prix for you? Other is uh, Switzerland and Italy. So mm -hmm. it's uh, next year, 2020. So. Mm -hmm. And what do you have now a uh, next tournament after this Grand Prix? I will have uh, this. Uh, I think it's um, Chinese mind games mm -hmm. and then Chinese league. Yeah, so you're going to be at home at this time? Yeah, in China. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, today we um, we were speaking about uh, you a little bit more and we learned that you mm, studied at the university uh, uh -huh. and you finished the university. Yeah, I finished. Uh, so how, how, how did you combine war, uh, university studies and chess at the same time? Well, uh, I think... Uh, yeah depends for the person I mean for me actually I mean I still um, even I go to university I still I mean I focus on chess I mean mm -hmm. I mean uh, f for me so I didn't make it the balance so for me I think chess is uh, more like uh, it's main yeah, it's thinking main, yeah, yeah, for me yeah. so even at the university you were <laughs> focused yeah. on the chess yes uh, but did you enjoy the studies at the university uh well uh depends the the different lessons uh, you know some lessons are funny and some lessons is more about the uh, you know uh about uh, some knowledge so mm -hmm. it's different from uh, but overall or i like university i mean this uh atmosphere is good mm -hmm. there uh. yeah. And we also learned that uh, you did not uh, play uh, too much of the junior championships, youth championships. Oh, uh, what I was the reason of it? Ju uh, junior, I, I, I didn't play. I played the uh, like youth for once, two mm -hmm. two. And I think uh, because uh, I, for me, uh, some sometimes uh, I I qualified for the women World Cup. So mm -hmm. so by that time for me, I think. Uh, junior championship or had, having some other tournament for m for me anyway. Uh, okay, it's just uh, I mean sometimes th that title is not so important mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was something uh, bigger that you were working mm -hmm. probably yeah, at this yeah, time. Yeah. Okay, and what is just to describe your uh, a day back in Shanghai? You're living in Shanghai, right? Uh, so how is a day of a uh, world champion, how you spend uh -huh. it? Uh, I think it's just normal, I mean, just a professional chess player's life. So it's, uh, I, I mean, I go to ch chess center and meeting my friends. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I think the world champion like uh, gives me more confidence and, mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's uh i mean of course it's a very great thing and uh, but overall i mean it's still a chess player's life it's uh like every day work we uh, you work every day <laughs> and okay. is, is there some like hours that you are working daily or it's up to the mood uh it like depends so i mean okay I just 
just like other disorders. So, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, most probably preparing for uh, exact tournaments, mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, example Grand Prix mm -hmm. and World Champion, and so on, so yes. on. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming mm. and for showing the amazing game and yeah. also to share your uh, thoughts about your uh, mm -hmm. personal life. We will come back shortly with the other games. Okay, thank you. <laughs>